people, I'm here to show you um, some of the things I do for winter um, for exfoliating my skin and moisturizing my skin as well. It's so just my little winter uh, routine. Well, it was inspired by a visit I had to the beautician recently. Went for a pedicure. And there was a lady sitting next to me in the, in the next chair. And she hadn't done... Sorry, I'm a bit breathless. Oh, sorry. Anyway, this lady hadn't done a pedicure for three months. Like, she didn't even maintain her feet. She was like, oh, I came in in July. Do you remember me? I was like, I hope they don't. Three months, she hadn't done her feet. Three whole months, she hadn't touched them, nothing. Not even putting cream on them. And I could see the flakes of skin falling into the, the, the you know, the tub bit. Even the lady was struggling. She was like sweating, scrubbing away. It just was not nice. Wasn't pleasant. I didn't like it. She was, ugh, not cute. Not happening. No, 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 no. So I'll show you how to make your very own exfoliants at home with things you have at home. So I'll start with the face. So what you need is some polenta. Now polenta you can find <clears throat> in any Asian stores, just anywhere, even in Sainsbury's. I think I bought mine from Sainsbury's. Was it Asda? I don't know. But you can find it, polenta. Um, it's quite a fine cornmeal. Just need a bit of that and your face wash. I use simple moisturizing face wash. Does wonders for my skin, sensitive skin I have. Mix those two, just make it into a little paste. Use as much or as little as you like and get scrubbing. You have fabulous skin in no time. Rinse and moisturize. Now to moisturize afterwards, I use, oh, if you want to do a mask afterwards, you can use honey. Just plain old sweet honey and you're fine. You know, nice mask. Skin will be so soft, you won't even believe it. So after I've done my exfoliating and my masking, I use the simple day cream or the night cream, depending on what time of day I've done my exfoliating. So that's the face done. Okay? These products are really inexpensive. These cost like, I think, two pounds something. The honey is so reasonable. You can use the cheapest range honey. It doesn't matter. A simple products are reasonable. Everybody knows that. And the polenta was, I think, 129 for a small packet. So there's no excuse to have ashy skin in the winter. Then I'll move on to the body. Uh, all you need is some maize meal, like so. You can find this. I think they've started selling it in most uh, supermarkets now. But I buy mine from the Asian stores again. This one's called Iwisa. If you know about Iwisa, let somebody know. <laughs> tell somebody to tell somebody about Iwisa. Um, but you can find it in the Asian stores. It's called Maize Meal. You'll find it there. It's also quite reasonable. It starts at about one twenty nine per pack. And the bigger you go, the more it will cost you. So anyway, that's the Maize Meal there. Then I use my body wash. I use the Johnson's Baby Soothing Naturals. That's the one I use. Sensitive skin on my body too. Yeah, my skin is... is it's got issues. So, <laughs> I use really nice stuff for it. So I use that. Mix these two together with a little bit of olive oil. I keep that in my bathroom as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I am not ashamed. So I use that. Don't judge me. <laughs> I use that as well. So this, these two together with a bit of maize meal. You've got a lovely moisturizing exfoliant for your body. Don't forget to do your butt cheeks. Okay? Yeah, I said it. Yes. Oh yeah. And if you if you have very sensitive skin, use a crease cream. And a bit of the whatever you want to use if it's the polenta. Actually use a polenta for your body because it's it's much finer if you if you really don't want to get too aggressive with your skin. But it's just not cute to be walking around. I've seen girls, you know, they go clubbing in their little skirts and guys in their shorts and stuff in the summertime. They moisturize but they still look ashy. Why? Because there's a lot of dead skin on you. You need to scrub away that skin and get your skin refreshed once a week is all it takes. You have time. Stop making excuses. Otherwise, I won't speak to you. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the feet. We have Demaria Sugar. That lady needs to, I hope she's watching. I hope she remembers me. Lady, if you're watching, 
watch closely for your feet at home yeah <laughs> you need demerara sugar this one's quite coarse very very coarse and that's quite good for the feet because you can really scrub away a lot of dead skin at the bottom of your feet where you wear trainers and stuff in winter i think it's quite good to have something so demerara sugar and use the olive oil again and your favorite body wash or aqueous cream just use the sugar and the aqueous cream that's also excellent even if you don't have sensitive skin but that's a great combination and put in a bit of olive oil because once you rinse where the skin has been so stripped you need something to moisturize afterwards then on my body after I've exfoliated I use the Garnier intensive seven days moisturizing lotion it's brilliant I was very skeptical in the beginning when I started using it I was like mmm you know they're selling a product and whatnot then I tried it and I haven't looked back since I used to use baby lotion but uh, well I don't know I still use baby lotion but I prefer this so if you use this thumbs up then for my feet I use the deep mo the Shaw deep moisturizing cream this stuff is a must-have you have to have this in your cupboard wherever you keep your stuff in your little box under your bed wherever you know if you don't have space <laughs> just keep this everywhere just have a few bottles of this stuff you won't regret it it's brilliant and also I was gonna say for your body I know I used to suffer with a bit of like acne on my back as a teenager and stuff it um, I used to get spots and it just wasn't very very nice it wasn't very cute yeah not cute it wasn't cute at all so if you have spots on your back just use exfoliate with the same formula I showed you but I can't find the oh there it is <laughs> just use the um, exfoliant I showed you the mixture of the maize meal olive oil and the body wash scrub 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 rinse and then put scrub if you can't reach your back <clears throat> if you're not supple start doing yoga <laughs> you'll reach your back one day <laughs> but if you can't reach seriously um use one of these brush brushes this one is from sanctuary and i bought this in boots so they're, they're really not expensive um for mine was a gift thank you you know who you are and um yeah, just buy one of these, scrub away, put put your paste on there and just give it a quick scrub. Just try your best. And then afterwards, um, just put a bit of the Neutrogena wash, two-in-one wash mask on your back. Leave it on for, this says, five minutes. I leave mine on for ten. I don't know why, because I like it to dry completely. Just let it dry and then rinse off and moisturize afterwards. It's really, really helped. I have now have a nice smooth soft little back well my back isn't that little but you know it's hot it's cute and yeah that's what I use afterwards you can use that on you can use it on your entire body if you like some people do actually suffer from like acne everywhere like I see some ladies with spots on their chest and stuff and it it, it can help just keep trying different products but treat your your skin on your body as you would your face you know we tone cleanse moisturize our faces do the same with your entire body it's gonna be worth it you're gonna look fabulous in the winter same routine in the summer as well just keep it going once a week if you don't have time twice a month just don't walk out without doing it like that lady that was sitting next to me i i swear i will not speak to you i mean it i mean it oh i forgot the lips um you can use honey to exfoliate your lips. Yes, your lips. You have to exfoliate your lips. If you don't exfoliate your lips, walking around little flakes, um, corn flakes. Not sexy. Not sexy. Not cute. Just like my eyebrows right now. Because I'm trying to grow them out. But yeah. That's, that's nothing. That's just the way life is. So it's not cute. <laughs> use honey. A bit of honey on the back of your hand. And a bit of the polenta for your lips. Just go around in a circular motion. Just keep rubbing round and round and round and round. I know some people use Vaseline and an old toothbrush. But I find that a bit gross. Because you have to keep the toothbrush afterwards. Uh -uh. No. I think this is the best one. Like this is the one. Okay. It's the one. 
use honey and the polenta rub 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 and if you want you can just lick your lips because it's food just lick your lips and that's it won't get a, an upset tummy it's good for you trust me i i eat everything i just eat everything then i work out but yeah <laughs> use the honey and the polenta rub around your lips rinse off wipe off use do whatever you want with it just get it off your lips and moisturize afterwards i just use vaseline it's cheap it's inexpensive it's whatever you want to call it it's doesn't cost a lot and it'll keep your lips looking absolutely fabulous so that's my little winter routine try it if you do try it let me know what you think of it if you have other formulas let's share you know let me know maybe there's something i'm missing i don't know i could learn from you like you've learned from me today so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video take care have a great week bye